Welcome to the Transfer Exchange Show. It's not a team special this week. We're branching out and we're going to cover as many teams as possible. We've got exclusives. We've got up to the date, up to date news, and 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 more. We've got we've got so many clubs to get through tonight. And in the space of about half an hour to forty minutes max, Steve, can we do it? We can do it. We can do anything. Absolutely. Right, anything. Right. We're the transfer exchange show. We talk about that is the energy I was looking for. Energy. That is the energy I was looking for. How are you doing, Steve? I'm I'm, I'm great, mate. Uh, transfers really kicking in there. Uh, we're, we're in the we're in the deep end, if you like. Yeah, it's um, been bit getting busy. My phone's been ringing yeah. non-stop every time. Every mm-hmm. time you get a bit of news, dropping me a message. It's been yeah. it's been crazy these last few days. Yeah, it has. It's it's been. It seems that there's there's all the clubs now. Are doing something um you know they're they're not just looking at one player you know we, we've said before in, on this you know this 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 show that you know if they're looking for a central midfield player it's not just one central midfield player they're they're asking about they're they're, mm-hmm. they're you know they're, they're asking around for about three or four which is uh well it just makes it good fun doesn't it, it makes it good yeah. fun to us probably a bit nervous for you people out there because you don't know which it is but enjoy it <laughs> no, it is, it is good fun. It is good fun. And that is why we're in this game. So we're going to start off with some Crystal Palace news, people. All right. We're, like I said, we're branching out today. We're going to share the love. All right. Crystal Palace uh, have had an 8 million euro bid rejected for Ozan Turfan. Uh, are they going to be going back in for him, Steve? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they will. It, it's, it's, it will all, it's all going to depend on, on another player. Now, um, Ozan Turfan... Um, a, na- a, a famous player in, in, in Turkish football who, who plays for Fenerbahce. Mm-hmm. He's he's been linked for to to Crystal Palace for for at least the last two three years. Uh, in two thousand nineteen, the, the deal was literally well, it was done. Every, everybody was happy, and Crystal Palace got an injury to Suarez, and unfortunately, that meant that the transfer could not go through. Uh, and they ended up buying uh, Sorlaf, the uh, the Norwegian, and he and he came to Crystal Palace, and but a deal could go ahead this summer. I've heard that they they could be going back in for him, um, but um, there is another choice. There is a a player who they prefer. Patrick Vieira's come in. He's been very careful with with the funds there. He's already made some good signings, but that player that they want. Uh, on a loan, if possible, is Conor Gallagher. Very good we've, player. Yeah, we spoke about him before, Kieran. You're quite familiar with him. Yeah, watched him at Charlton. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he used to, he used to play for Charlton. Mm-hmm. Um, they're definitely looking for a midfield player, uh, as sources have told us so. Um, I just mentioned there that, you know, Patrick Vieira's came in. He's, he's been very clever, mm-hmm. uh, clever with um, Crystal Palace's funds so Ozan Turfan is is someone who uh, Crystal Palace have certainly got their eye on uh, they have had talks already um, but if they can get Gallagher then um, that may be more of a shout all right all right yeah that'd be a good sign if they can get Gallagher um so a loan deal for Gallagher the, the, the route that potentially could be going um as, as, as I said he's a very good player English as well. I mean, it wouldn't have to, it wouldn't have trouble settling in. He was at West Brom last year. He was at uh, Swansea for half a season, the season before, and then Charlton helped helped keep their survival hopes alive in the first half of the season. Um, another player that is is, is is we spoke about yesterday that we re- released information on. Uh, Man City are moving uh, t- t- ahead in, t- t- in the transfer of Aston Villa and England midfielder Jack Grealish. Um, the personal terms have been agreed with the player and the club, uh, and, and Villa uh, are looking for around a hundred million pounds for the player. But um, Man City want to pay eighty. Is that is that the first bid they're going to go in for? Is that what they they, they they're holding down that they're going to pay? That's that's what the that's what the first bid is going to be. It's going to be eighty mm-hmm. million. Uh, but obviously, then there's going to be a twenty million gap between the players. But listen, look. As the Villa don't want to sell Jack Grealish, you mm-hmm. know, they, they're going to be doing their utmost to, to try and keep him. But at the end of the day, this is all going to be down to 
what Jack Grealish wants to do. Um, mm. What is interesting is that Aston Villa are already in talks with Bayer Leverkusen's Leon Bailey. Uh, mm-hmm. 19 goals last season. Uh, sorry, 119 games last season. 28 goals. Uh, he's been he's been linked with Everton before, but Everton and now that's that that boat has sailed, and Aston Villa are are in talks with him. Um, so with that, it it does tell you that you know the root. I mean, we got some big big sources tell us yesterday. Um, I'm not. <laughs> we've had a few people on our Twitter page tell us it's not true and it's not happening. I'm telling you, people. If you if you spoke to the people that we spoke to, yeah. Aston Villa fans, you you would you would believe everything we're saying on this. We don't think put things up as big as this unless unless we're a hundred percent sure that yeah, they're, 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 they're true. I, 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 you don't press the the submit button on this these kind of things unless you're you you got it from two or three sources, and yeah. the, the, the sources that came out were not even linked to each other and they all said the same thing. So when they're all saying the same thing, you run with it. You've got to go with it. Mm-hmm. Um, this, this deal is, is... We're not saying that Jack Grealish is gone. We're not saying that the deal's, the deal's happened. The deal is done. It's far from done. But the, the Man City mean business. Um, and the fact that Villa have essentially set out a price for him says that they are willing to sell. Mm-hmm. The, they, they, not, they don't go for Emil Smith-Rowe and add Emi Buendia and go for all these other attacking midfield players if they're not looking to potentially look for a replacement for Jack Grealish. So mm. I think you've got to read in between the lines there. Um, yeah. Another player who has strongly been linked over the last what, six months with mm. Man City and previous, uh, Harry Kane. He wants mm-hmm. Manchester City and the citizens want Harry Kane. Uh, Tottenham are not against selling Harry Kane, but at the right price. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, the sticking point, Daniel Levy wants to absolve responsibility on this one and he wants Harry Kane to hand in a transfer request. Now, that I is a big does. ask <laughs> for the captain of Tottenham. He's not a silly man, Daniel Levy, is he? No, he's not. <clears throat> he's not. He's, he's, he's the total opposite. He's a very intelligent man. And love him or hate him, he, he has looked so after Spurs over, over the years. He's done a few mm-hmm. things that maybe other fans wouldn't have agreed with. But as I said, he's, he's, he's looks after Spurs. And just like the, the what we just mentioned two minutes ago with Jack Grealish, it was a carbon copy yesterday of what happened with Harry Kane. Um, sources were too big. We, we, we put it out there and we, we got these news that uh, they will be going in for a bid for a hundred million. Um, they want, um, they won about 125 Spurs. Manchester City has said they would give 100 million plus a player. That player is said to be Bernardo Silva. Now, whether he would want he wants to go there is is another thing. But he's the one that's been highlighted by Manchester City, not Tottenham, by Manchester City. Um, so this is the other player in in the deal that may be able to swing it. Um, I mean, personally, 100 million plus Bernardo Silva, <clears throat> I think that's a great deal. Bernardo Silva has turned around and said he would rather still play in Spain. So there's still a little bit of work to work to do there. <clears throat> but personally, um, you've already said that he wants um, Harry Kane to put a transfer request in. <clears throat> we got that from a big source, people. A very big source. One that I even opened my eyes open on. So, we, as again, we've just said about Jack Grealish, these things don't go up. They're not said unless we are, are sure that it's come from one of our top sources. And these two certainly, certainly have. But Bernardo Silva, Harry Kane, I'd, I'd grab the hand off, Kieran. Yeah, it, do you know what? It, it all depends on Bernardo Silva. Do I see Bernardo Silva wanting to go to Tottenham? I don't. This is a guy who's talks spoken about wanting to, as you said, wants to go and play in Spain, wants to go and play in a country which is probably more suited to just his lifestyle in general. Mm-hmm. Um, and a, a move down into London, although is appealing to a lot of people, is that really the answer? Is that really what he wants? 
I don't know. Do, do, you, do you go from a team who's just won the league, who will probably get into the Champions League semi-final minimum and probably challenge, if they get Harry Kane or whatever, they get Jack Grealish, are going to win the league or challenge for the league. Do you go mm-hmm. to them to go to a Tottenham? I, I don't think you do. I think no. I think it's very complicated when you're trying to take a player out of a team that's just won the league and put him yeah. in a team that's just barely scraped into the Europa League. So mm. it's a tough one. If, if they could offer a player who's maybe a, a bit down in the pecking order that, that that doesn't really get much game time, then then you might be able to swing it. But Leonardo Silva's a regular start. He's one of the key players in the team. So mm. I just don't see him being a part of the deal. Um, mm, but I yeah. do see Man City forking out more money. If they have to, and it gets to the point where it comes towards yeah. the end of the transfer window, and it's we're talking about 15, 20 million difference, Man City will pay it. They just get it over the line. Mm. Yeah, they need they need, they, they, need the, they need the striker. Yeah. And there's, there's no use. I mean, Man United have come out. They're not messing about. It's no yeah. excuse that... You know, over the last two days, Manchester United have signed Jaden Sancho and Raphael Varane. It's no, it's no, you know, the following day. Coincidence, yeah. yeah. No coincidence. You, then they're they're coming out flexing their muscles. Yeah. With, with Chelsea Jack Grealish and Harry Kane. Yeah. Chelsea flexing their muscles, which we'll get onto in a minute. Yeah. So yeah. all these things that you know, which is really nothing to do with fees or whether they want to go there or not. It's the matter of that these clubs are now have moved. When yeah, it's the, it's soon, the, soon as one club moves, yeah. we'll see the others move. It's the domino effect. It's how it works in transfers. There's, there's, there's many domino effects in the transfers that I've come to realise. It's not just a case of one player leaves, which opens a door for another to come in, and that way of transfer sort of domino effect. It's also the flexing your muscles domino effect. It's yeah. we saw it last year when. When um, I can't remember who it was, I think it was uh, I think Chelsea got got in a couple of players, uh, Havertz, and then all of a sudden Man United go and buy Donny Van der Beek, and and then Man City start looking at uh, uh, bringing in players and stuff like that, and then th- it, it's been it's the same every year. You'll mm-hmm. see once once they see the big clubs or the, the, the their 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 rivals buying buying big players in. They've got to match it. They have yeah. to. They have to. So it's not, it's not surprising. It, and I can see it continue. Mm. Um, as you spoke about before, Aston Villa. Aston Villa have uh, uh, had a bid. Did they have to have an offer declined for for uh, uh, Leon Bailey? I think I saw somewhere. Yeah, they um, did. Yeah, yeah, thirty million offer declined already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've, yeah. they've already had an um, offer declined. Yeah, um, but but they'll but they they'll they'll go back in because they've got the Grealish money uh, yeah. to play yeah. with. With you know they've got a mark. They've got they've got to, they've got to keep their options open. You know they're mm-hmm. they're going to try and keep Grealish. You know Aston Villa fans that are watching, look, don't you know get you know, you know too Dan yet. Yeah, Villa are going to do all they can to keep Jack Grealish. But look at the same time, Villa are doing the right thing. They're looking at other players. And that, and that's what they and that's what they've got to do. And Leo mm-hmm. Leon Bale is one, and another one is Isco. I mean, yeah. if you, if you're getting rid of Grealish and you're bringing in Bailey and Isco, I mean that's a fifty million for those two, say round about um, 50, sixty million the most. It's, it's it ain't bad, is it? You know, I, I yeah. wouldn't I wouldn't be scoffing at that. Yeah, I mean Isco's a quality player, and if you're going to lose a Jack Grealish and you're going to get in Leon Bailey and Isco's, it's not a bad replacement. Um, definitely not a bad replacement. Uh, as you spoke about earlier, Chelsea look like they're going to be getting their man in Jules Koundé. Um, mm-hmm. They're putting a thirty-five million pound bid plus French international and his compatriot uh, Kurt Zuma in a deal. With Kurt Zuma very open to going to Seville as well. Um, also added onto that, Seville have made a seventeen million euro bid for. Oz and Quebec. Uh, Oz and Quebec yeah. was at Liverpool last season on loan. Uh, Seville have taken a liking to him, and it, it looks like they're looking for a replacement for uh, Jules Kunde already. So that mm. spells that spells it all out. Um, Jules Kunde yeah. looks like he's going to be a Chelsea player within the next week or so. You were saying? Yeah, I, I can't be exact. I mean, 
as exact as the Varam thing. I mean, we, we said that would happen Tuesday and it happened Tuesday. And we only say that when we know it's going to happen. This mm. I can't say is going to happen um, in the next... I can't put a day on it, but I would say everything's going forward swimmingly, if you like, at the moment. Uh, you know, Chelsea want a player. They want this centre-back. Uh, I mean, it's a steal, really, the money that, you know, they're, they're, they're going to get him at, even if they have to pay the full 50 million and without Kurt Zuma. But, you know, Kieran, you, you, you broke the news earlier. Um, you know, Chelsea have offered 35 plus Kurt Zuma. Fantastic, fantastic deal. And like you've already said, um, in the, I would say the next few days, he'll be a Chelsea player. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good signing. Ball playing centre back. Um, I'm sure Tuchel will be very happy with that sort of signing. But Seville were getting a good deal as well. I think. Yeah. For, I think they wanted 50 mil. But if you've got Kurt Zuma's had a very good season over the last two years since he's got mm. back into the Chelsea fold, and he's he's been one of their main centre backs. So they're not getting a bad centre back. Hall. he got himself back into the French team. Um, so I, I mean, they need the money. And mm. I think 35 mil, if you if you were willing to take, accept 50 and 35 mil plus Kurt Zuma, I think I think you've got I think you've got a good good deal there. Oh, without without a doubt. I mean, the sort of um, you, you know last we get to the beginning of the end of the season when Tuchel started speaking uh, more than more than probably what we've seen him. He was mentioning that he, you know he was going to be looking for a ball playing centre back. And mm -hmm. you looked at Zert Zuma and, you know, well, you know, and you thought, well, he's not a ball playing centre back. And it's no surprise that he's trying to put him as part of the deal for Jules Kundi. But he's yeah. a good player. Yeah, he is. Uh, and some Arsenal news now. Uh, ben White to Arsenal. He's done. £50 million transfer. Um, I think he had his first part of his medical yesterday or today, didn't he? Hmm. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's done. yeah, yeah. Um, and 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 he's an Arsenal player. Um, good signing, Steve. You happy with that one? Yeah, yeah. I I think he's one of these centre back. He's young. Um, he's he's got the lot. I I I think I said the the other week when we was having we had another chat about Ben White that I I see him more when he played at Leeds and because people were. Were, were, you, you know, singing his praises at Leeds, and you know, I, I started to watch him a bit more then when I started to hearing people sing his praises, and mm -hmm. I, I thought he was fantastic. I, you know, he's he's got everything. Uh, he, he's hard in the tackle. He's not he's yeah. not frightened to to put someone into the stands if he if he wants to. That's uh, what I like about him as well because he can play ball, but he's not yeah. like a. But he's he he's been he's been in the lower leagues. So he's, yeah. he 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 can he, he gives a bit as well. So I, I like yeah. that. I, I like I like the balance that he's got there. Yeah, um, no, I think good, it's a good signing. signing. Yeah, yeah good very signing. good signing. Um, Arsenal are still monitoring the situation of Martin Odegaard. Um, it looked like uh, Martin Odegaard was going to be settling down in Madrid again. Um, waved the white flag with Carlo Ancelotti and forgot about his previous comments. And but still, potentially. It's not over. What's going on with Martin Odegaard then? I'm I'm here, and he's still Arsenal's number one choice. I, I was told yeah. today he's still Arsenal's number one choice. They're not letting this go, and, and Real Madrid has, uh, have not put it out the question that he he will he will stay at Real Madrid. Um, it, I, it, apparently, since he's gone back to Real Madrid, he's 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 not happy. He's he, he's sort of at the training ground. He, he's not really putting it in. He's he seemed he's heard he spoke to the family that he wants to be back at Arsenal. Would rather be at Arsenal. He doesn't want to be at Real Madrid. Real Madrid certainly need the money. Uh, Martin Odegaard would be one of the players who would certainly be able to bring him the most money, uh, along with um, Mendy. Uh, How sorry. much they're looking for for Odegaard? 60, 60 well, million. Arsenal need to be smart here. If Odegaard's not happy and, and he wants to go to Arsenal, mm. then d don't offer him 60. Like, no. like play ball. Mm. Like, yeah. Be yeah. a businessman. Be ruthless. Like, yeah. 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 you've got a player that you're not happy with and you need money. We all know Real Madrid need money. 
So yeah, off from yeah. forty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he had we, you know, he played a game. Was it against Rangers the weekend? I'm not. I can't. I'm not yeah, they did play Rangers. They did. And yeah, he, they did. And he and he, he had a disaster. He was just walking around the pitch, and he didn't look bothered. And it was like, you know, and he got he got taken off. And uh, yeah, the rumours are, are rife. And the he really doesn't want to be there, then, does he? He really doesn't he, want to he be doesn't, there. He doesn't. He doesn't want to be there. And Spanish press and Sp- uh, Spanish sources are, are not putting it out the question. You know right, that that's right. uh, an, an Arsenal. He is the number one choice for Arsenal. Whoever, whatever other players are getting linked to Arsenal, Martin Odegaard is and always has been the number one choice for Arsenal. Because if he wasn't, if they was, when he went back on loan, he he didn't want to go back on loan. He wanted to stay at Arsenal, and Arsenal wanted to keep him. Yeah. Um, so don't put that one out, you know, to bed yet. He, he could still be an Arsenal player. All right, all right. I mean, I think that'd be good news for everyone. Uh, Alexandre Lacazette, Arsenal trying to move him out. It looks like Atletico Madrid may be giving Arsenal a lifeline there. Uh, £13 million pound is that? Yeah, 12, 12 million. Um, um, Atletico Madrid have uh, mentioned that, that, that they want to pay for him. Arsenal are saying they want 15. If they come in the middle, Kieran, you, you're spot on there. I mean, it will, it will be around about 13, 14. Um, one thing what Arsenal seem to be doing in this in this window is that they're not they're not being pushovers. They're they're saying I want this, and it seems that deals are hard to to get players in or out um, because they're sticking to their guns. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Atletico Madrid, there they will there I there will be a bid for Alexander Lacazette next week. There will be. I've be. got that All much right. faith. I've got that much faith in the person who's told me that he, he, there there will be a bid. What it will be, I'm expecting it to be round about twelve million. I'm expecting Arsenal to knock that back. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, Alex, for me, this Alexander Lacazette has never been this close to leaving Arsenal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So does that mean the likes of? Tammy Abraham is, is is that got legs? If 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 that's the case, that um, Lacazette does make that move. Yeah, I mean Tammy Abraham's is is someone Arsenal have looked at. Um, they've they've asked Chelsea there, you, you, you know what, like what they want to do with him, um, and they're quite happy to sell him. Uh, he's got he will cost around about 40, 40, 45 million. It it seems a lot of money, but. You know, if we can, if Arsenal can sell some players, um, then that that could happen. On a personal note, I'm not too sure about Tammy Abraham's. Um, maybe I haven't seen enough of him. He's, he's he can be good. Um, I don't know. Arsenal need someone a bit more established, I don't know, a bit more established. But there certainly is legs in table, Abraham's. And, yeah. and he is one of the players they're looking at. All right. Uh, another bit of news which we dropped uh, earlier on today is Granit Xhaka's deal to Roma at the moment is on hold until they can sell some mm-hmm. players. Um, they currently need money, with a, like, like with a lot of Italian clubs at the moment. Um, they're in need of they're in need of money, and they need to get rid of players to to get funds to bring in. Uh, Grant Xhaka. Arsenal are looking for 20 million for the Swiss international um, and Roma can't afford that yet. So they've got to get players off the books to get him in. So as of now, that deal is on ice, we we'll say. Uh, mm. But maybe they will look for alternative options. Um, Hector Bellerin. Hector Bellerin and Inter Milan. The deal is very much on. Inter Milan yeah. off, uh, representatives are flying into London next week to discuss a deal with the Gunners. Um, it seemed like that deal went a bit quiet. Obviously, we had Nima on, um, and he wasn't massively keen on the deal. Um, but it looks like Inter Milan are going to be pushing through with this. Have you got any more on that, Steve? Yeah, yeah I've, had a, I've had a word uh, early in the week with our, our friend Nima, and he's confirmed, um, <laughs> not happily, that this Hector Bellerin is is hundred percent on. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of working the fee out. Everybody's on board. 
in a one one in. It barely room wants to go. He's wanted to go for a long while now. Mm-hmm. Not not just in the last few months. He's wanted to go for a, for a long while. And Arsenal want to get rid of him. But the only you, you know stumbling block is is the fee. Arsenal want twenty million. Inter are talking about twelve million. Oh. So there's a bit of a there's an again there's a there's a discrepancy there of eight million. Um and this is why this is why they're flying in. This is why they're flying in next week and they're gonna try and crash out a deal. Personally, I think it will get done. I I you don't fly in for yeah. nothing. You know. Yeah. So I'm assuming that both Arsenal and Inter Milan will come to an agreement and maybe they'll meet in the middle. And I I I that I think it's ta to it. and the thing is when you think about a couple of years ago, you know, extra Bellerin, we was talking about 50 million and, you know, price tags like that. I mean, mm-hmm. fall from grace. <laughs> fall from yeah, grace. and even last year we was talking about 35 million. I, I like Hector Bellerin, but I just think he needs a new challenge. He needs a, a new bit of scenery. Um, it, it can get like that. It's just, it's just with the injuries that he had and the type of player that he was, He's not going to be that kind of player, and, and we don't need the player that he's going to become. Um, he's going to take a long while to turn into a cultured left back or cultured yeah. right back who's who's going to be. And, and, and what better place to go and do that? What better place to learn his his trade mm. than in Italy, uh, where you you can learn the art of defending? Um, yeah. And I'm sure Inzaghi would be a, a perfect coach for him as well. Um, yeah. Uh, another player, speak carrying on with um, Inter Milan, um, Martinez, which which threw me off. Um, Arsenal <laughs> been linked with Martinez. Yeah, yeah. Arsenal tried to get the swap with Bellerin. No, mate, what? I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> oh, people were on the screen and they was going. What was that? No, <laughs> sorry, just 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 me having a little play around, you know. I've had a hard day in the transfer world, you know. These 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 just I need these things sometimes. <laughs> but yes, um, it's absolute rubbish, yeah, absolute I so. rubbish. Yeah. But there's some big um, social media accounts. There's there's some big uh, people such as us um, reporting on it. Why I just don't know. It's it's not even it's it's a it's a waste of time. It's not even he doesn't want to go. He's signing a new contract, and if he did go, it'd be hundred and ten million. So if you see, yeah, him, but not just that. I was, I was on a, I was on a like a like a not a pod, but I was on like one of them Twitter spaces last night, speaking to a load of Arsenal fans, and um, someone said about the the Lufario Martinez. Uh, would that be a good sign? I said, mate, it'd be a brilliant sign, but he's not coming to Arsenal. I said, it was only last year. I said, this time last year, he'd agreed personal terms to go to Barcelona. So why yeah. why it go to, why it'd be at Arsenal or go to Arsenal? I, I don't know. It's like, he's in a ch- team that's in the Champions League. Yes, Inter Milan need money, but also Inter Milan are not selling any of their players unless they get the price that they want. Like, they're, yeah. they're, 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 they're not messing around. They People know they need money, but they're not going to get they're going to take it for falls. This is yeah. one, of the, one of the most sought-after strikers in world football. And I mean, yeah. if Arsenal were even to make a, a, an iota of a bid for him, then every other vulture of a team would come round because they would know that, all right, this is serious. Like people, again, that would be a domino effect. As soon as the club mm. going for a player, start sorting out a deal, start sorting out a deal with the club, that's when the big bigger boys come or the other teams come with more money and go, okay, whatever they pay, we're paying an extra five, 10 million on top of that. Whatever he's offering you as a player, we'll mm-hmm. give you an extra 50 grand a week. Yeah. Arsenal ain't in that situation. When Arsenal are not in Europe, Arsenal have got to sell players first. They've got to get some money together. Yes, they've got money in the bank, but they've also got to get rid of players off the books. And I don't think Lucario Martinez is going to be at Arsenal anytime soon. No. Um, James Madison wants to join Arsenal. Um, Arsenal like the look of him. Sixty million fee a problem. Uh, what, what's going on with this one? Arsenal have asked about James Madison, and that's it. Mm-hmm. That's all they've done. Yeah, they, they, they've they've asked about him. 
a uh, lot of rumours that Arsenal are going to make a bid, and that, no, they're not. Mm -hmm. James James Madison, I, I've known for ages now, and recently it, it, it's come out from some top accounts that Mad Madison is is a second choice. Madison's a to Odegaard. A, to Odegaard. Yeah, yeah. Madison's and 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 unless the, the Odegaard is a total no no, then they may go in for Madison. And then again, Madison's going to want to leave. But at the moment, there's nothing on Madison. I can assure you that. I can, I yes, can, I, I can assure you. There's nothing. I enormous. think. Sorry. Go on. No, go on. Fine. No, I, I think with with Odegaard, there's more chance of Arsenal it playing into Arsenal's hands because the player doesn't want to be there. He's made it clear he wants to go to Arsenal. And I think Arsenal, like, if they could do a deal with Real Madrid, they might be able to get a loan obligation, um, which yeah. would suit Arsenal because they've not got the funds like up front. And, and Leicester are going to want that money up front. Leicester are going to want a big money, mm -hmm. and they ain't going to do a loan for James Madison. They're not going to. They're not going to help Arsenal out um, of trying to get one of their players who is a rival to another Premier League team. But like if you want James Madison, you have to pay what we want, how we want it. Whereas mm. Odegaard, it suits Arsenal more. Um, they've already had the loan. They've got a good relationship with Real Madrid. And I think a deal could get done um, yeah. if, if Real Madrid are, are willing to sell. Yeah, yeah, I, I, absolutely. I mean, I mean, it, it, a couple of things that, you know, you could you could like read into. Emil Smith-Rowe's now got his 10 shirt. Mm -hmm. Which apparently Madison's always, you know, is part of his rule. When he goes to some place, he wants a ten shirt. Today he was he was a kit launch. So um, Arsenal are not in European football. We, there's there's so many things that you know when you put up a red flag and think, nah, nah, there's this too many no's, too too too, too many no's. And someone, you know, we we've said it all along that there's never been any interest as far as talking to Leicester goes on, on James Madison. And we had the athletic confirm it, you know. Mm. So, but then again, you know, the biggest footballing tabloid magazine, you know, they talk rubbish. But like you said, people that say they talk rubbish when they, when they, until they want something that they hear something they want to believe. But <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. Yeah, um, no, nah, nah. I hope he does. I, I'd love him at Arsenal, but no. Nah. Not the moment. Uh, Ruben Nevers, is that one's gone a bit quiet. What's happening there? It was linked with Man United, um, yeah. but obviously, uh, what's what's going on with Ruben yeah, Nevers? You, yeah, you, you took the words right out of my mouth there. I was going to say that things have just gone so quiet. Mm -hmm. um, there's been links. They're starting to link him now with all over the place, with, with like Spurs, with Everton, with Newcastle I've seen. Um, Arsenal had have talks. They've, they've they've actually met with the agent, and but it goes back to the same thing. Odegaard, you know they they want Odegaard, mm. and and until they're given a one hundred percent no way, mm. um, they're um, they're still going to go. And we're getting reports from Spain, from our good sources in Spain, that Martin Odegaard could still come to Arsenal. So we're taking that as true. Yeah. Um, so at the moment, Madison and Nevis are not not in Arsenal's mind. Uh, uh -huh. and so, yeah, as you said, things have just gone quiet on him. You know, yeah, instantly. And 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 you got something on, on? Is that Pedro Neto? Oh no, the, sorry, Neto, uh, the Barcelona goalkeeper, Neto. Yeah, that that's finished. Uh, Arsenal are not uh, are interested in in it. Got other interests now. Uh, rather than Pedro Neto, they're, they're looking for a younger keeper. Um, is it Aaron Ramsdale? Something I'll have to find out a bit for you. Um, yeah, that that we'll, one's that one's thrown me. I can't lie, Aaron Ramsdale. I, mm. I mean, he's obviously not a bad goalkeeper, but I, I mean, mm. I, I don't know. I don't. Is, is is that the profile that Arsenal need to be going for? Um, I. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what, 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 what position are Arsenal? What, what are people expecting from Arsenal next season? You're not going to get, you know, a, a world class goalkeeper coming to Arsenal at the moment. So you've got to go down the next, down to the next tier. 
Um, I, I, I'm surprised they haven't gone for um, what's his name? Oh, it was the goalkeeper that was at Fulham. Arua, what's his name? What the um, one who's on loan from PSG? Well, he's oh, what the guy who's meant to be signing for West Ham? That one. Oh, is he going to? Is he going West Ham? He's big links to West Ham. So why? Why? Why did Arsenal not go for him? Because I, I, well, we don't know. There may have been links. They may have, you know, had, had talks with him. We've not heard anything. But again, it it seems. I mean, a lot. A lot of people. It seems that a lot of players so far are, are swerving Arsenal, and that it all goes down to the European football. I would. I mean, they need to test the waters more. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was at Fulham last year. Like, like, yeah. like, like they were a relegation team before they even started. Yeah, like, test, just, test, just odd. Test, test, I mean, uh, you know, make a bid. I mean, you, you, the chances of getting these goalkeepers are probably next to naught, but you never know. I mean, test the waters with Henderson. Test, test mm. the waters with the Men City number two goalkeeper, who's absolutely quality. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, the American kid. He played yeah, the other night. Yeah, uh, Zach Stefan. That's it, yeah. Yeah, you know, very good test, goalkeeper. Yeah, test, test the waters with these. Yeah. But, um, but you made, Brighton's yeah. keeper, the Spanish number three. Quality, Sanchez. Oh, he's quality. Yeah. Quality. Yeah. So what's happening yeah. with Leno then? I think Leno wants to go. I think yeah, I feel like right, he does. I think he, right, he made the right mess up, didn't he? In, in that press conference uh, in the Europa League that time where he come out and said, oh, I want to better myself, I want to go somewhere else. Um, and then he come back and said, oh, no, you know, I didn't mean it like that. And But, yeah, he did. So, Not being funny, yeah, but that, that it goes back to... Uh, I hate to harp on about it, but it comes back to... Um, I mean, Martinez, doesn't it? You've got a player there who come through... The ranks was was at, was at Arsenal from the age of like sixteen. Um, mm. he, he, he's for Arsenal through and through, and you, yeah. uh, he won two trophies um, in the time in the short space of time he got. He actually got an opportunity to play. He was absolutely brilliant, and you, and you, and you didn't give any assurances that he was going to start the season as number one. Uh, it's, that's just it's madness, and now he's potentially being linked with clubs that are going to try and win the Premier League and. He's just won a Copper America with Argentina. It's just, it's it's an absolute mess, that one. Absolute mess. Yeah, and the funny thing is, Arteta says that he wants players who wants to play for Arsenal, who are going to commit yeah. their whole future. And he would have. He would have done. But he would have done. He obviously, I mean, the goalkeeping coach obviously hasn't got a clue at Arsenal. And Arteta don't know a goalkeeper as much as he's, he knows about players, you can't know a lot about goalkeepers because that's that should hit you in the face. You should be in number one for me. I just don't get it. Yeah, I don't yeah. get that one. Uh, Locatelli is off to Juventus. Is it, is it a two season long loan with obligation? Uh, well, they 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 offered uh, 30, 30 million. Mm -hmm. uh, no, they offered something. I think they offered something about. 15 and then saying like 30 million to sort uh, or, or 30, yeah 30 million to um at the end to pay out after a couple of years mm -hmm. but Sasulo want want a straight buy so yeah. but, it, but it looks like <clears throat> i think the last bid they did was 35 i think they're five million out and the uh, last conversation i had with someone was that this is done you know okay. and 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 Locatelli will be a Juventus player, and again in the next couple of days, uh, it's just about wrapping up a few, you know, bits and pieces of paperwork. All right, all right. You got a little bit of news for the Brighton fans out there? Yeah, a little little bit for Brighton. Um, a, a good bit of news for Brighton. Um, spoke to the um, correspondent today for for Brighton, and Brighton have made a bid. Um, for Celtic's um, Odson Edward uh, of 18.5 million. Uh, ex excellent striker. Another one who was, who was being touted out there at 35, 40 millions last season. Now, what it is, Celtic 
are desperate to bring in defenders um, before the end of the window. Uh, they're looking for funds and are seriously thinking about accepting Brighton's offer for for um, Eduardo. Uh, Celtic are also looking at bringing in as well uh, Spurs keeper Joe Hart. Mm, so um, for them, they? yeah, but that's a firm bid from Brighton. And um, yeah, well, if they get in, that that'd be a great signing. Yeah, it would be. Um, uh, Phil Jones linked with West Ham. Anything in that? Just, just that's yeah. Just um, Phil Jones to West Ham. Um, you either love him or you hate him, but I think it's his time to move on. Moyes, massive fan of Phil Jones. Uh, you remember when he at his time when he was manager of Manchester United. Uh, mm -hmm. He played Phil Jones all the time. If he, you know, I think he, he he probably played under David Moyes more than he played after under any other manager. Yeah. And uh, the United fans weren't happy because they couldn't work out why they kept picking him. But uh, you know, they they would let him go on a free uh, just to get um, get the wages. On a free, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the same goes for James Garner. He's uh, a good, decent player, and just Pereira. Lingard, uh, he look he looks like staying uh, as Ollie wants in part of his plans, uh, but uh, they've 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 given an offer again to West Ham for thirty million pound, um, but that's it's West Ham. That's too too much for West Ham. They they won't pay that. Yeah. So it, it looks like he could be at, staying at Manchester United. All right, and, and Paul Pogba, uh, PSG uh, setting up a bid for Paul Pogba. Yeah, yeah. What what this is? This is a little domino effect as well. I mean, Bayern Munich's um, Leon Goretzka. Um, he's, there's still no contract. They've had three or four talks now. They they can't agree for some reason. Bayern <laughs> kind of are finding it hard, always hard to agree things with, with players, don't they? I mean, mm -hmm. and then either they, like David Alamo, I mean, that, that one went on for, God, it went on for ages, didn't it? Um, but United, they've, they've been in contact with Gretzka. Personal terms have been agreed with, with Gretzka, but um, Gretzka's first choice, if he can get the wages and get the contract right, is, is to stay at Bayern. Everyone's quite aware of of what of what people want, um, and also and even with United, he is he is second choice <clears throat> to Paul Pogba. But again, they want to fresh out a deal. They want to keep Paul Pogba at, at the club, um, and contract talks are continuing there with Mister Pogba. I mean, we all we know that PSG are waiting uh, to jump in. If if a contract just just can't be agreed, and and they're they're willing to buy Pogba this season, so watch this space on that one. All right, all right. And uh, did you have any more? No, that that was everything. Yeah, there's, there's, was. Lo there's loads more, but we'll be here till three in the morning. There's plenty to digest, <laughs> people. Take it in. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for joining us tonight, Steve. Very good, very good, very good show. Yep, pleasure, mate. Yeah, and thank you very much uh, for for joining us tonight. Make sure you hit us up in the comments section. Tell us what you think of some of these signings. Do you think that Jack Grealish will end up playing for Manchester City? Will Harry Kane put in a transfer request? And will Arsenal be able to come through with getting Martin Odegaard back into the Emirates Stadium? All right, peace out, people. Stay safe and wash your hands.